Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm McKeem, and in today's Fix of Entertainment news, Craig Mazin confirms more seasons of The Last of Us are in the works, our first look at Netflix's One Piece, and Mario takes on DK in a brand new Mario clip. Let's drop it. All right now, showrunner Craig Mazin has some good news for The Last of Us fans and what to expect going into the adaptation of part two of the video game. Now, it'll apparently be more than one season's worth of episodes. Now here's more of what he had to say to us on the red carpet. Well, we have started to talk about it. It's a big, that's a big animal to take apart, you know, because it's a, it's a much bigger story and it's a more complicated story. I, I think it's a beautiful story. So Neil and I are just now sort of figuring out how to, because it's more than a season's worth of television for sure, but you know, ultimately we can't get there until uh, folks watch it and you know, HBO gives us the good news. Now fortunately, folks have been watching the series as the premiere hit 22 million viewers with HBO renewing it for a second season. And based on what Craig told us here, not only is he working on another season for the Naughty Dog game, but at least a third one as well. Now though it's far too soon to say if we'll get a third season at this particular point in time, it's more than likely that the show will remain consistent in its version of the apocalypse, keeping both newcomers and fans of the video game franchise interested in what's to come in future seasons. Now, personally, I'm hoping the series won't see a significant drop in viewership after a certain pivotal scene we'll likely see in season two. Now, without spoilers to those that haven't played the video game, I'll just say it's very similar to what took place in the season seven premiere of AMC's The Walking Dead with this antagonist, Negan. Now, oddly enough, The Walking Dead saw a dip in viewers after that particular episode. Now, it more than likely won't happen to The Last of Us, but we'll have to wait and see when we get to that point. Now, as for right now, we can all enjoy The Last of Us season one on HBO and HBO Max. Now, in other news, it's almost time to set sail with Netflix's One Piece as the streaming service recently released these cool images of Luffy and the Straw Hat crew. Now, from what we're able to see from the silhouettes, they look to be on par with their anime counterparts. But then again, you know, we all thought the same thing when we saw early images of Netflix's failed Cowboy Bebop series. Now, an image is worth a thousand words, but that doesn't equate to a strong viewership when we see these characters in action. Now, hopefully it'll be good, but Netflix's track record hasn't been the best. And finally, we got the brand spanking new clip from Illumination's Super Mario Brothers movie entitled Smash, clearly paying homage to the Super Smash Brothers video game series. Now, it sees Mario going up against Donkey Kong, delivering a very Seth Rogen performance. Now, Chris Pratt's Mario voice is in full on display when he gets that catsuit level up and says, Yeah, that's the one, loving his Mario so far. I'm, I'm just kidding, that's barely anything to go off of. Now we'll see what else we can expect from this movie when it hits theaters April 7th. All right, and that about does it for your entertainment fix for today. I'm Akeem Lawanson, and thank you so much for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous episode. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, stick with IGN. <laughs>